The Blue Ridge Parkway happens to be America's longest linear park, running 469 miles from Cherokee, North Carolina to Rockfish Gap, Virginia, as it connects the Great Smoky Mountains National Park to the Shenandoah National Park. Covering over 93,000 acres of land, the Blue Ridge Parkway attracts over 14 million visitors every year. As does many other great works of the time, including the creation of the Great Smoky Mountains National Park, the Blue Ridge Parkway begins with President Franklin D. Roosevelt. Originally called the Appalachian Scenic Highway, the President had to decide the route the parkway would take. Many people recommended that the parkway divert west into Tennessee for a significant portion of its route, but due to the lobbying of President Roosevelt's friend, the route that the Department of Interior would eventually choose would go through North Carolina rather than Tennessee. Construction officially began on September 11, 1935 in North Carolina and the next year began in Virginia. It wasn't until June 30, 1936 that Congress officially authorized the project under the name the Blue Ridge Parkway. While some jobs were created in the area, Many residents lost their land and were displaced due to the parkway. Naturally, the eastern band of the Cherokee was affected by the new road because part of it was built through their land. Interestingly, with the building of the parkway, many new rules were brought down on the locals. Residents now had to have permission to build anything on their land. They could only develop their land for agriculture. Additionally, they could not use the parkway for commercial travel, so they had to transport their crops, materials, and equipment through the old back roads. Most of the parkway was finished in 1966, but the section between Lynn Cove Viaduct around Grandfather Mountain did not open until 1987. Later in the 1960s, there were a few proposed extensions for the parkway that would travel from Cherokee, North Carolina into North Atlanta or a point at Interstate 75 in North Georgia. The majority of the Blue Ridge Parkway is a two-lane expressway. Named for the Blue Ridge Mountains it traverses, the parkway covers over 93,000 acres and attracts over 14 million visitors every year. Over the course of the parkway, it crosses water, railways, and ravines. It contains 168 bridges and six viaducts. There are plenty of rest areas, pull-offs, and lots of overlooks along the sides of the road. The entire parkway and everything built around it is an American attraction that brings many locals and tourists to the area every year. I would go so far as to say that in the fall, it is one of the most beautiful places on earth and shows the change in foliage better than almost anywhere in the world. There are 26 total tunnels on the parkway. 25 of them are located in North Carolina and only one in Virginia. These tunnels were used because they do much less damage to the local ecosystem than an open cut scar would do. Most of the work on the tunnels was done by hand in the 1930s by the Civilian Conservation Corps. The longest tunnel is 1,430 feet long and there is even a triple tunnel along the parkway. The Blue Ridge Parkway consists of winding roads with scenic vistas that promote slow but steady intervals of driving and stopping to enjoy the views. If you simply want to drive as fast as possible from start to finish, it will take you about 12 hours as the speed limit hovers around 45 miles an hour. If stopping to smell the roses is more aligned with your taste, then it could take up to a week to enjoy all that the parkway has to offer as you cross it. Regardless, it is one of those bucket list places that you have to experience. The beauty around it is surreal and honestly unmatched. <laughs>